Hi again, this is just a quick update on SC Prime. So yesterday, the official Twitter account tweeted out that the incentives for storage providers are changing and you need to comply with them by the end of the month. So you've got until the end of January to make these changes. So that's another nine days at the time of recording this. But the guidelines have now changed for the amount you can charge for your storage from 10 to 15 SCP a month per terabyte to 1 to 5 SCP per month per terabyte. So all the current recommended pricing is still available obviously on the SC Prime website and they do update this page regularly. We can see it's actually updated today as it happens. So you can follow these instructions and set things exactly how you wish yourself. Now I've actually got a list of what I'm going to set for mine which does follow the recommended pricing here. So I'll put these in the description as well, but we'll just go through exactly what I've got here. So I'll go through the configuration on both Windows and Linux, but we'll start off with Windows as that's what I've got here at the top of my list. So these are my new settings and I should be able to just copy and paste these into my command prompt and get them set up. Now, if you're not 100% sure what you've got yours set to currently, you can find out on the Grafana website. So again, I'll put a link down to this in the description and you can find your own provider if you haven't already and just double check your incentives. So we can see here, mine is currently set to 10 SCP per terabyte per month. Collateral is 12 and a half. Max collateral 50. Upload and download is two. And the max duration is 13 weeks. On my Linux node here, it's very similar. We've got 10, 12 and a half, 50, two, two and 13. So we're gonna update these with the new recommended pricing from SC Prime. And we should see the Grafana website update once we've done so. It may take a while for the next scan, but you will notice that it does update. And you should then be fully compliant with all the incentives by the end of the month. So let's just go through exactly what they're now recommending. So they're saying that the minimum storage price that you should charge per terabyte is between one and five. So here I'm gonna set mine to five. That's the maximum you can set or maximum recommended you can set if you still want to comply with the incentives. Collateral is now just one times your minimum storage price. That is also five SCP. The max collateral is basically the maximum amount of SCP that can be locked into a single contract. So a single contract can have a maximum of 50 SCP utilized. Now, if you've got five SCP for collateral per terabyte, you know that that's gonna be 10 terabytes that any one person can have in a single contract. And now the collateral budget is basically a thousand SCP. If you haven't got a thousand SCP, don't worry, it'll just use whatever is the maximum you've got in your wallet. But this is the maximum collateral for all contracts. So each contract is a maximum of 50 and you can have a maximum of a thousand locked up in multiple contracts. Again, if you don't have a thousand SCP, you don't need to worry. It will just use whatever the maximum is in your wallet and it will work everything out accordingly. So if you only have 60 SCP in your wallet, the collateral budget will know that 60 is the maximum that you can have, which means you'd only really have up to 10 terabytes of storage in use. So the min upload and download prices have also been adjusted. So we've gone from two down to one SCP per terabyte. And the max duration has also come down. We're now down to nine weeks from 13. So like I say, I should be able to just copy and paste these into my Windows client and get these adjusted. So we're gonna do that now. I'll put these in the description and you can just edit the numbers as you see fit, or you can just keep them the same as mine. As I said, these are the current recommended minimum required to meet the incentives. So let's copy these. We'll go over to my Windows host now. So go to the folder where your SPC is located. Mine's currently on the C drive on this host. I have moved it around a bit. So I'm now running off a SSD now yours will probably be located on the P drive if you followed my other video. So obviously just go to your P drive and find the location where your SPC is and we can just copy and paste these into the command prompt. So I'm just gonna right click. And that's now gone through and set everything. It's host updated, host is updated. Again, ignore the error about the renter module. We're not using the renter module. So that's always gonna fail. But we've now updated our Windows host so we're gonna move over now to our Linux host and we'll update that as well. So the difference you'll notice with the Linux version is you just put a dot and slash in front of SPC just to get that to run. We'll make sure we're in a sudo as well. So sudo su and pop in your password. And we'll go back to our current location here just to keep it the same. Okay, we'll select it all for the Linux version here. Right click and hit return. And again, we've got our host settings updated here. So everything has updated okay. Ignore the renter module bit. And we can now wait for Grafana to update. It'll probably take around half an hour to an hour 
to update on the Grafana website. Okay, it's been about half an hour or so and the contract parameters have now updated on both of my nodes. So we're down to here to five, five, 50, one, one, and nine on my Windows node and on my Linux node, we've got the exact same settings. So again, you've just got to keep an eye really on the provider settings page here because this does update and unless you are told by someone or you do actually monitor the official Twitter account, you're not going to know when things change again. So it's possible that this will go up in the future. It may even go down. Now everything is down on the market at the moment. We're down to $1.42, which is still better than it was three months ago. But over the last seven days or so, it's uh, had quite a, a drop. But like I say, everything at the moment is red, red, and red, as far as uh, as you can see, apart from some uh, stable coins. So yeah, that's it really. That's all you need to do to get yours up to date. Make sure you do, because otherwise you won't meet the incentives, and then you won't get the incentives each month. Now, I'm not sure how long the incentives are going to last for. It's possible they have mentioned it somewhere, but uh, I haven't listened in on some meetings that they've had. But again, the Grafana site isn't actually working 100% yet. We're still not getting any details in our incentives for this month. So hopefully they're still working on getting the Grafana site running properly again, and then we'll get to see how our incentives are doing. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. If you want to support the channel, you can click on the join button and that really helps out. And if you have any questions or problems at all setting yours up, let me know down below in the comments and I'll do my best to help out where I can. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.